Hi, right here again. I want to show you how I built my uh, horseshoe pits. Might save you a little time running all over looking for stuff. First thing I did was go to Lowe's and get the uh, 4x4 salt treated landscaping timbers. What I did, I got uh, the length of them here is uh, four feet, their regulation. Four feet long, uh, up there at the three feet wide, and the pegs are 40 feet from one peg to the other. And one thing I did on the pegs was, uh, here's the pegs that came with the, uh, the horseshoe kit, came in that box over there. Somebody gave them to me as a gift. But <clears throat> they're not near as long enough. I mean, if you put them in a lot of ground, it's not real hard. So I went to Lowe's also when I was there and picked up these uh, pegs. And what they are, they're like uh, rebarb. You'll find them in the uh, section where the cement is. And they're twice as long as the uh, pegs that came with it. But you, I, I got six, six timbers. They're eight feet long. But you would only need three if you want to make it just one layer high. What I also did when I was at Lowe's, I got these uh, rebarb pegs that went in right here, and they're 18 inches long. So they're, it's, the thing is real sturdy. You can kick it and everything, and it won't won't budge. Plus, then I got uh, the real long nails and nailed here on the side and uh, right there on the on the top so plus while I was at Lowe's I got six bags of uh, playpen sand and then what happens there it was uh, so fine that when you throw the horseshoes you couldn't find a darn thing so I went and got uh, four bags of just topsoil and mixed it all in and you'll have a state-of-the-art set of uh, horseshoe pits getting ready for a big fish fry this weekend so we got the old <laughs> got my old fire pit going burning leaves and bo uh, wood I like that every day. I love to burn, burn things. But that should help you a little bit when you go to do your horseshoe pits. When they're double high like that, the uh, timbers, it really keeps the sand in there and the shoes also, unless you're really wild. Like me, I lost a shoe the other day. I pitched 20 minutes with three shoes. I couldn't find it. But finally it was like, 15 yards down the, down in the yard. It was one of those real dark ones that was in the brown grass. I couldn't find it. So finally I did. I'm not that good yet, but I'm going to keep practicing. Over and out.